exercise 23. In this exercise, we take a look at the ability to uh, create cylinders uh, with regards to the solid work sheet metal functionality. Uh, you could also put in on those, you could put patterns on it as well. So let's begin. We're going to start off by drawing a, a circle, actually not a circle, but a, an arc in the center. And so let's start a new part file. Select the front plane and start a sketch. Now with this we go to the three point arc. Actually, uh, I'm sorry, center point arc. Click on it. Click and drag out a circle. And then just have it offset a little bit to the right here. Click again. Drag down and around. All the way till about the 11 o'clock hour there. Leave an opening at the top. And click. Hit escape. Find the center line tool. And at the origin, drag out a vertical center line. Now from here, if you hit escape, Hold control and select the two endpoints and the center line. And you'll find symmetric. Add a symmetric relation between those. Go to smart dimension and dimension between the, whole, the two holes there and put in 0.01. And finally, dimension the diameter at 2.5. Now, to bring up the sheet metal tools, right click on the Office Products tab or any of those tabs and find sheet metal. Click on the sheet metal tab. Go to base flange tab and extrude it. Extrude this two and a half inches and hit the green check mark to apply. At this point you could go ahead and just flatten it at any time. One of the things that I did neglect to show was on the sheet metal one. If we go ahead and right click and edit the feature you could see you could put in the Ben radius. In this case, it's not valid simply because it's already put in there with that 2.5 inch radius. Uh, you could also allow for different gauge um, and K factor options. So now at this point, what we want to do is add a pattern to this. So you can use the unfold tool, select an edge where you want to be fixed. Like in this case, I could select this edge right here as the fixed edge. And I could hit the select the whole body to unfold and hit apply. Now that it's unfolded, I could select the top base and start a sketch. I could draw in geometry of any sort. And then I'm going to go ahead and pattern that. Okay, it's a linear pattern. And in this case, put in the spacing. And you could adjust the gap, the distance for each one, and how many you want. In this case, we want to fill the whole area with these. And hit the green check mark. I could go to Features, Extrude Cut, and I'll select Through All. Or we could actually select Link to Thickness, being a sheet metal part. That's automatic. It's basically a through all, same as through all. Hit apply. Now to fold that back up, go to the sheet metal tab, find fold, and select the entire surface. Hit the green check mark. And we'll fold it back up. And that completes exercise 23.